Valley Club Scopely expected a lot of backlash for their announcement for the new release of characters and their events, but did they expect this much backlash? There's a lot of it, and a lot of it came very, very quickly. We're gonna talk about some of the interesting points that are made, a lot of good points, and the more important thing, can Scopely at this point go back on her decision for these character events? We'll talk about that in this video, and if you're ready for it, then you know what to do, Valley Club. Find that like button. Let's go smash it. Welcome back to the Valley Fine channel. I am Valley Fine. I hope you're having a great day despite Scopely's decision to change the release method and cadence of their characters. They expected a lot of backlash for this. I'm not sure if they expected this much backlash. For me personally, I was kind of a wait and see. Normally when they do bad events or make bad announcements like this, either when it actually goes into the game, it's easily not that bad, or there's so much community backlash, things are changed before it actually goes to the game. So personally, kind of wait and see. But the community is not at that point. There's a lot of hot reactions right now. We're gonna discuss all of that. But the more important, like I said, will Scopely go back on this? Sometimes they go back on things. I'll give you my impression from the call, but before we get to all that, if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button for more Marvel Strike Force content. Hopefully the game gets a lot better, the community gets a lot happier, but yeah, we're covering Marvel Strike Force on this channel, minimum five videos per week. Let's go into what has happened though, the future of character release. This is from the blog yesterday. Basically what they're changing there is two methods to release characters. They're gonna be the path one, which we're kind of getting. We got that for the Illuminati, we got that for the Annihilators, that slow drip over time of characters. And phase one is a release to encourage players to unlock the characters by engaging with the game throughout the entire week. And you consider this a release event for characters. And this is not the traditional method. Now, uh, these release events release the characters through daily engagement and various modes, can occasionally some surprises. And sometimes you may not unlock the characters during phase one. Phase two is where uh, players can unlock characters. And I think the big fear from the community is that there's gonna be events that lock players out of the game, uh, lock them out of uh, playing the game if they don't spend on these new characters. Now, that was not the impression that I got from the devs. The impression that I got was that, hey, they're gonna wait on these events uh, before characters are released. So. My impression that these events would be coming after phase two, but again, wait and see. We'll see what the devs actually do. If they hold to their word or or they're gonna do something different. Now, the reaction on Reddit was hot, yeah, as expected. I think the devs expected this hot reaction. They're like, all right, you guys gonna make your videos. They're gonna say that we're stupid, that uh, all this negative about, we're gonna get a lot of backlash from the community. They knew they were gonna get a lot of negativity from the community, and boy, did they. This one kind of hurts, so sorry content creators have no reason to watch you anymore since day one, watching multiple content creators. Uh, however, now I'm stuck not caring because I can't play the same game that they play. I am free to play. Don't have Mephisto, but I'm close. Don't have Captain Britain and Game Thanos. Don't have nearly the Red Stars people to pretend I do or should have. What's the point? The game created such a chasm between spenders and free to play. Can't even strategize what they do. This is not a good path for the game. And I hope people make Scopely away with their wallets, maybe pay with their wallets. It's evident from the numbers presented that they'll keep spending, reinforcing their bad behavior. Next post. 200 over 200 upvotes on this i've never seen a studio of more actively trying to piss off the player base let's start with the basics captain britain release universally hated by the player base let's do it again coming soon the rng orb character releases nobody likes uh, let's double down make all the releases like this the player base loves it the legendary horseman releases we like this the scourges were actually good yeah uh, but it didn't make you money. Are you so creatively bankrupt that you can't think of other ways to monetize this game without uh, taking away a release method that was well received and ruin it? Ignoring Reddit, ignoring the player's voice. I did it my way. You're not Frank Sinatra, mobile gamer, said it. You're getting rid of the goodwill you got from months ago, and now you're in villain mustache. What's going on over there? How? Uh, the game is going down a crap hole fast. I've had it with the new character release system, Marvel Strike Force. Seriously, what is happening? We've gone from a somewhat manageable grind system where new character release are gated behind an RNG. Are you kidding me? This is a slap in the face to all of us as a sporting game for years. There's been a time where we at least knew how to get to new characters, but now there's no guaranteed un way to unlock them. Well, I do agree with a lot of sentiment here. This part is not true. They did say that during the phase two, it would be a way to unlock them and they're still committing to that four to six months, uh, six six months you're getting them at seven stars. So uh, I, I see this as a more slow way to unlock them. But again, the fear is that 
players aren't going to be able to use these characters in events. You know, the Shattered Dimension was a big example of that. Uh, they initially tried to lock players out with uh, the, uh, the Annihilators not being able to get the Annihilators. Some players was able to get Gladiator uh, for that initial, the way it was planned, but I guess not a lot of players got that good RNG and unlocked that character. They tried to do that with the original Temporal Dimension or the second version of Temporal Dimension with requiring eggs illuminati they went back on that so yeah they 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 haven't exactly done that yet but they've tried to do it they did go back on that so far want that shiny new character to stay competitive good luck because now it's a roll of the dice some players might get lucky while others not no way of knowing when they'll get a character or not yeah they don't have a timeline for this they did mention a time frame in the envoy call but uh, they did not want to release those numbers, that time frame of the days that they're expecting players to get these characters unlocked because those days do shift, which is why they didn't have anything in the blog post. People cord more with Illuminati and Annihilator. Scopely uses justification changing the upcoming release. Well, no crap. You had to core the Illuminati if you wanted to get Hank and Shrew to five to get Captain Britain. Plus, they are legendary unlock. Annihilators are the new arena team and a legendary unlock. The only way to get more Annihilator charges is to do Weddle Arena. Did they core for Alpha Flight or Mercs? No, of course they didn't. Can you please just say we want spenders to have more value? You're trying to sugarcoat everything. We're doing this into a facade, tried rubbing your belly. Now, the impression I got from the devs about these numbers, they're not trying to fool players. This was something I don't think that they extrapolated enough. They just looked at the total number of what Ryan Jacobson did say as that the numbers that they have were like the total numbers and uh, they had the tech people working on other things in the game to improve the game and they weren't able to separate that out so all this may be true the only reason that they may have gotten more shards in this release is because of cores they didn't take that into their data so uh, that would have been useful to have in the data that they shared with us so yeah this is exactly might be true uh i probably am not i didn't core i didn't buy the characters for alpha flight i didn't buy the mercs i did buy sentinel probably not gonna buy omega sentinel probably not gonna buy nimrod just because i want them for the raids and right now it looks like sentinel alone with the two orcas that's already in the game and lady deshrak and scientist supreme and penny parker and kang can already beat a lot of the nodes in the tech section so probably gonna skip this one as well so yeah i'm, I'm not i'm probably not gonna core a lot for those other teams i used a lot of cores for the annihilators so yeah sentinel example of a new release method is awful my alliance completed the portion of tolerance is extinction that provided sentinel orbs currently have 14 shards woo who i hope there's more opportunities to get these orbs but good lord 14 shards of a lot characters does me no good 98 shards of a lot character still don't have the character is this fun or engaging reminder i'm making progress at snail's pace i need to log in uh twice a day fifth five days to do my dailies and not bother looking tomorrow so i would push back on this a little bit because even at this point with the sentinel release you know some players have that free to play on day one i know there's some people in my chat that said they got that uh unlock but if this was a traditional release you'd have to wait about a week so i know it's a very small percentage and it does suck but there's a small percentage and i think that's kind of what they're focusing on but yeah it is it is kind of a bad release i do like getting a lot of character shards after about a week or two weeks i expected a lot of char more character shards than getting now so i, I think they, they had other time frames that they're looking for you know further out rather than the couple weeks or three weeks that i normally am looking for as a player that's been playing this game for many many years battle passes will become irrelevant if i can't unlock the new characters i'm a battle pass buyer which is still considerable amount of money per month on a mobile game and while this change in character releases i won't be able to unlock the new characters without spending this makes the benefit i get from the past to be irrelevant what good is it to me if all the gold spending training mats if i can't unlock the new characters not to mention that the character core orb drops are ridiculous i have to spend almost a 10,000 cores to unlock thanos geez that's a lot of cores uh since then i've got about 25 shards from the arena orbs that have been top 10 arena every day yeah i've been i don't think i've gotten a lot of shards for thanos at all i think of there's a lot of times i get zero drop rates i did unlock the character just to buy content and kind of because he's an arena character i want to get that character but yeah from his release event i don't think i would have unlocked him yet i don't think i even have like 80 shards of thanos yet to get to that four star for the next level so my drops have been very very bad uh and uh, with a traditional release i probably would have had you know a star on thanos players would have actually had that unlock for thanos by now but 
Yeah, it doesn't feel good. Now, one of the big things on the call that Ryan Jacobson said is that they're a business and they want to make money. They also want to make the players happy and they're trying to find that balance. And I think they leaned a little too far into making money end right now because the players are not happy because obviously having happy players spends more in the game. So I think it's in their best interest to make the players happy while also looking for ways to monetize the game. So looking ahead, uh, the path to events closely, they're going to be monitoring the path to events closely through the Orcus release and beyond. Our team also be trying to find new methods of releasing character shards along the way. So this gives me some hope. I don't think they want to shut players out of unlocking the characters and getting these characters. I think they just want to delay it. And again, for myself, if they're laying that, you know, they also extend these events that uh, don't make them pay to play. For me, that'll be fine. But let me know your thoughts on this. I don't think that they think that they're going back on this from the impression that I got from the call. You know, I, I think that they're going forward with this, expected a lot of backlash. And because they expected a lot of backlash, I think that either way they are going forward with this. But I do like that they're monitoring this. They're going to keep looking at this and they do realize that they need to make the player base happy. So uh, they have made changes in the past. So let me know your thoughts on this all personally myself. I'm still at that wait and see. I've kind of generally adopted that attitude over the past year or so, because uh, when I when I get these knee jerk reactions like, oh, this is going to be bad. They're really not happy in my personal life. So I'm generally trying to be a little more positive and have that wait and see approach. However, when the community is so unhappy, uh, my content is based on the community. It is for the community. It's, it's hard to keep remaining positive in these videos and making positive videos. So uh, let me know your thoughts on this all. If you got some value for this video, leave it a like. Hopefully we continue uh, to make the game good for everybody. And hopefully Scopely doesn't make these, uh, turn this game pay to play, because that would be very bad. Uh, I will see you guys next time. Have a great rest of your day. If you want to see more Marvel Strike Force content, check out the video up there. Hulk fist bump, Valley Flying, out.